Hello, today I'm going to show you how to draw these easter eggs. First open a new document, change the stroke to none and the fill to black. Then go to view and make sure the smart guides are selected. First we will create a design that will look like this and later we will apply it to our 3D egg. Let's start with creating a custom paintbrush. Press the letter L for the ellipse tool or select it from the toolbar panel and draw a long and narrow ellipse. Now hover over this guide and while pressing down the ALT key draw a small ellipse. Next switch to the direct selection tool, select the anchor point on the left and press the right arrow key on your keyboard several times. Now select everything, go to Pathfinder, if you don't see it go to Window, select Pathfinder and choose Trim. Select this part on the left and press the Delete key on your keyboard a few times. Then select everything, go to Pathfinder and choose Unite. Let's resize it and save it. Go to Brushes. If you don't see it, go to Window and choose Brushes. Select the shape you've made and drag it to the Brushes panel. Choose the Art Brush and change the colorization method to Tints. In the next step, using our custom brush, we will create this flower shape. First select the pen tool, draw a short straight line and apply the brush we've just created. Next go to Effect, Distort and Transform and choose Transform. Check the preview box so you can better see what we are doing. Set the rotation point to the bottom left corner, the angle to 20 degrees and let's make 17 copies. You can always adjust it later. Now let's make a few more copies of this shape. Go to Effect again, Distort and Transform and Transform. Select the Apply New Effect button and let's change the horizontal move to a higher number. Basically you want to create a small gap between shapes. And set the copies to about 7. Next we will create a top border that looks like this. Using the pen tool draw a straight short line and apply the custom brush again. Next go to Effect, Distort and Transform and choose Transform. Set the horizontal move to about 22 pixels. Choose the Reflect Y from the options and set the copies to about 80. Now duplicate this top border. Select everything, go to the Align window, make sure Align to Selection is checked and then choose Horizontal Align Center and Vertical Distribute Center. Let's zoom out and resize it. In the next few steps we will turn this design into a symbol. First go to Object and select Expand Appearance. Next change the fill to white. Open the Symbols panel and let's drag this design into it. Change the name to whatever you like, set the type to Graphic and the registration to the upper left corner. Now let's close this panel and delete everything from the artboard. In the second part of this tutorial we will draw a 3D egg. First change the fill to none and the stroke to any color you like. Now using the ellipse tool draw an egg shape. After you draw your egg, select the anchor point on the left and press the delete key on your keyboard. Now select the two end anchor points and join them together. 
Next go to Effect, 3D and choose Revolve. Turn on the Preview box, select the Map Art button and go to Surface 2. Now select the symbol we've made and position it over the dark surface. Next click on the More Options button and let's adjust the settings. Just see what works well for you. And basically you are done. Now you can resize it, make more copies, change the color, rearrange the eggs, and using the appearance panel go back to the 3D revolve options and make more adjustments. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.